veranda. You sustained some moderate damage, but you should be good as new in a few minutes. You need to get to the abandoned Canadian moon base. The government believes the Canadians were working on a powerful superweapon on the moon before the pod invasion began. If the weapon exists and is still operational, it may be your best chance against the invaders. When you leave here, you need to head east. Find an active teleporter that will take you to the moon. And once you're there, you must do everything that you can to acquire the weapon. Good luck. Our worst fears have been realized. The alien planetoids now orbiting the Earth. Miranda, everyone is not your enemy. Remember, you're part human. You can't let the alien side of you take over. Miranda, the southern node of the Reagan Memorial Defense Net is located at the outskirts of Houston at the Johnson Space Center. The facility is heavily protected and surrounded by walls. You'll need to find a way to get over the walls and get inside to activate the defense node satellite. Miranda, Nebraska has been completely evacuated. Reports indicate that almost everything's been converted, but we've received word that there are small pockets of people still alive in the surrounding territories. The only chance we have to save them is to get the northern defense net activated immediately. We're not sure the location of the defense node activator unit, since it was recently moved to a new location. You must find it, or these people don't stand a chance. Okay, everybody, wave to Grandma and Grandpa. Hi, Grandpa Bill and Grandma hey, Denise. Hi, nice Mom. To see Hi, ya. Dad. In these hard times, isn't it nice to know that you have a friend to turn to? Purpagoo, the ultimate justice in a little easy to use bottle. With Purpagoo, the hard times just got easier. Isn't it time you got to know Kansas City? It's not only our nation's new capital, it's a really fun place to visit. The Capitol building is almost done, and so is the new White House. And unlike Washington, D.C., Kansas City has very little crime. And if that's not enough, it's just minutes away from the world's biggest ball of twine, Kansas City. What are you waiting for? It appears that we're getting more and more stories in about these pod sightings in Houston, Kansas City, and Denver. It looks also, Jeff, like we're getting sightings in Europe. Well, I guess there goes my summer vacation, James. <laughs> <laughs> we at Station KBOT want to remind you that at this point, these sightings are unconfirmed. We have no solid information as yet. It's important to stay calm. I want to repeat that these sightings are unconfirmed. Jane? Oh, my. No! My 
these animal attacks have been characterized by the remaining animals bureau as highly unusual. In the footage you are about to see, farmer Wilma Johnson is being attacked by a cow. Fortunately, her husband Zeb was there to capture the tragedy on video. Zeb! Help me, Zeb! Put the camera down, you farmer! Help me! Due to the severity of this crisis, Governor Maudlin has ordered the evacuation of the state. Despite our dwindling staff, we at KBOT intend to follow and report this story to you as long as it is physically possible. The Great Trade Wars began. For 28 years, the North American continent was wracked by a series of brutal wars. But as terrible as it was, it was only the beginning. For light years away in the cold abyss of space, another enemy was gathering its forces. The first stage of the attack was in the form of thousands upon thousands of pods. They were the harbinger, beginning of the end. Unlike anything we'd seen before, this alien infection could convert anything it came into contact with. <laughs> Pods converted everything into mindless machine. These converts had no purpose but to destroy or convert still others. And there was nothing we could do. What little defense we had was crushed almost overnight. The few remaining scientists, like myself, were brought together to attempt to learn what the pod's weaknesses might be. Dr. Bowen, yes. it's in the tube. It's unopened? Yes, it appears to be a malfunction. Of all the pods that had rained down on our world, it was the only one that hadn't opened. I've never seen anything like it before. It's seemingly organic. If we could just find a weakness. Let's begin with an in vivo crystallization. I'll alert Dr. Cortez. Fine, thank you. Miranda. She was my only daughter and all I had left in a dying world. I thought she would be safe with me. Dad, why do they have to use mice for the experiments? And yet, I had sealed both our fates by bringing her to that dangerous place. I love you. To help Miranda, I could only wonder, would she be a harbinger of destruction or of salvation? Yeah. 